so welcome back to the channel T today's video is uh, regarding the G-Shock Multiband 6 Multiband 6 technology is a radio control timekeeping feature uh, which is set to receive standard time calibration signals from the radio tower that is located on six transmission stations in the world so for the countries that are not within the range of the frequency towers they could only rely on standard timekeeping which is manually adjust the watch the newer model comes with bluetooth feature which is uh, bluetooth timekeeping with the with the phone if you have paired your watch to the phone just click here so it will sync to the phone and update update the watch timing the watch time has been adjusted point memory performed so that's easy right and also it will update the time every day at some time interval this is the guide for people who are not within the uh, atomic timekeeping multiband 6 range and would like to get their watches updated or people like me who have multiple watches that require some time for me to get timekeeping updated so this way it took less than 30 minutes for all of the watches of all mostly all types from resin to metal uh, metal alloy to this kind of watches to full metal watches and these are all multiband 6 watches multiband 6 atomic timekeeping watches this is the steps for you to enable radio control frequency multiband 6 uh, sync if you are not within the range of the signal so on your watch go to the play store you will have to go find jjy jjy simulator that is the application this application will uh, simulate the radio control signal so there are a few applica other applications as well but this is the free one so the first step is to install the application the next step is for you to go into your watch and uh, update the time time zone to japan time zone so this is correctly done in Tokyo time zone can you see there so Tokyo Tokyo is already chosen the third step is to manually enable the radio timekeeping capture so you have to manually uh, enable the reception so for on the let's go from let's go from this one so click here you have to hold this button and it will show the signal currently what's this uh, reception level hold the oh, yeah, button same. till the watch enables rece manual reception so once you have enabled that uh, on the application here just enable here um, you have to make it to the maximum audio volume so you see here that it will simulate the uh, radio frequency signal so here you see It will take a little bit of time to for the watches to receive signal get updated here it shows that you receive uh, three bars as well here three bars on the golf master does display level three so uh, one of the watches has already updated to the correct timekeeping so here you see that is display as get and the time is at 12 14 pm 30th of March here so here it does show level 3 reception here it does show level 1 reception here it does show level 3 reception but it's not getting updated and here it shows level 1 and now level 3 or level 2 so it does take a little bit, little bit of time to get everything updated so let it just let it run So this one has received the signal, this has received the signal, this is has errors and this one has yet to get the updated. So this receives the signal at 12.16, 12.18 and 12.19. Now this one gets error so let's try one more time. Probably the older model requires a little bit more time 
to get the multi band signal reception for to be updated and let's see so you can see that here the watch itself uh, paired nicely with the time on my phone so all three of these has the correct timing you can see the time display here the fastest one that has a uh, sync is this one and next is this and then this one so you can see here if you click at the reception time so you can see that this has synced previously synced before so I I've done it another time so uh, this has synced twice so this first and this second and this third and this last one because this one has error and I've updated I've done the second attempt and it synced nicely when the speaker of the phone is near to the watch so what I can assume here is the resin does help with the reception and metal ones does require a bit more time for the signal reception so here it shows that at 12.27 p.m. Uh, it gets the reception signal. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this uh, tutorial helps you guys. And do give a like to the videos. Give a thumbs up. Like to the videos. Uh, subscribe to my channel. So hope you guys stay safe and stay well. Peace.